So have you ever had a problem with the uh, Arduino or Spark Fun uh, Pro Micro? It's a great little microcontroller, but it does seem to have an odd behavior with it. If you go to program it, it'll program correctly the first time. But then for some reason, when you go to program it again, let's wait for it to finish uploading, and you go and you go to program it again, you'll notice, oh, the COM port's gone. And you're going to get this strange error where it's unable to upload to the device. So what has happened? Well, in this video today, I'm going to show you how, to, how this problem is caught, what causes this problem, as well as how to fix it. Okay, so the two failure modes that I'm aware of for the Pro Micro involve choosing the wrong microprocessor and also overwriting memory. Um, so let me just show you the first one. Let's just program it like it should be. So mine is a 5 volt 16 megahertz version. I click to program it. It's going to upload. It completes the upload. And it's actually blinking. You can kind of see it in my video here. Okay, let's choose the wrong microcontroller and let's upload it. Now it's also still blinking. It says that it uploaded it, but if I now try to upload again, it still has not found the COM port. It's trying to talk to the device and it fails. So the way that we fix this, and I'll take you to the bench and show you how you wire this up, is we're going to add a reset button. And the reset button needs to be clicked two times fairly quickly in a row to make this work. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to choose the proper uh, microcontroller. I'm going to click to upload. And as soon as I see it uploading, I need to press it twice. The reset button, twice which will then cause the bootloader to kick in the correct one and it'll load. And now we're back to where we need to be. I'm trying to show it to you. So that's how you get around that problem. So it can happen by either choosing the wrong controller or depending on the code that you're writing. Let me pull this up. Here is a some code that I wrote that actually will damage the Pro Micro. Won't damage it so that it can never be used, but you have to reset it. So th this typically will happen when you have a null pointer because a lot of the USB um, registers are very low in memory. So if you actually, let's see, I'll uncomment this um, and I will check to make sure I've chosen the right thing. I have, so in this case, I have the right microcontroller speed and voltage selected. I click to upload it. It gets uploaded fine this time, and it runs. But when it runs, it actually damages the registers for the USB. So if I go to run it again, it will fail uploading. Just like when I chose the wrong uh, microcontroller voltage and speed off the menu. So now we get this error. So the way to fix that is the same way we fixed it when it was the wrong uh, voltage and, and microcontroller speed selected. I'm going to remove this so it doesn't happen again. Then what I'm going to do is go to upload and right when it says it's uploading, I need to double click the reset so that it will find it. And there we go. We see that it just uploaded to a Pro Micro that did not want to have code uploaded to it. So there's a little bit of a timing thing. Let's go over to the bench. First, I'll show you how you just wire a button up um, so that you can do this with your own. And then we'll come back and I'll show you how to quickly do this. Okay, so the easiest way to do this is to just uh, use a solderless breadboard 
and to do a jumper between ground and reset. And you want to do it twice in a row within eight seconds, which will cause the bootloader to actually come back up again. Um, however, it's kind of tricky to do. As you can see, these are pretty small. I've been able to do it before, but instead I decided to just make a reusable board that I could do this with. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to use a pref board and turn my iron on here. And we're going to use some header pins. The way I do this is <clears throat> I use a marker and I want to mark off the pin I don't need. And then we're going to cut it. Then from the other end, I'm going to do the same thing. Mark the one I don't need right there. And I'm going to get my Dremel tool and I'm going to cut that out. Okay, it makes an easy job of it. You can also, obviously, just use like a X-Acto or something and uh, score it and bend it or something. All right, we'll take that one out. We don't need that. Make sure that I didn't make a mistake. Looks good. Looks good. Probably pull that one out right there. Okay. Okay, so then what I do is I save the other piece, I lay it onto the board, and on the bottom I'm going to now go back and solder. You know, its position doesn't really matter. We're going to put a button uh, between ground and reset, which is here, so I'm going to scoot it over so I guess I can have some space there. Um, all right, so the first thing I'm going to do, let me see if I can uh, zoom in. All right, let me make sure I got my positions right. Okay, sorry about the clutter also. I've been doing a lot of different projects. Um, okay, so now that I've got it, I've got the Pro Micro on the pins that I just cut. I'm laying it on there. I, this is just to get all the positioning right, getting some solder. And I'm going to go through and basically just solder each endpoint. You don't have to solder this whole thing. Remember, you're only needing um, a few pins. But if you want to, you can. To be honest, it'll probably um, hold a lot better if you go ahead and solder the rest of the pins. I'm going to do that on mine, but I'll speed this up. Okay. <clears throat> Looks pretty good. Okay, now we're going to need a momentary push button. Like this one. And I'm going to put it, let's see how I set this up. Um, if this is going to be the front. Nope, this was the front. <clears throat> Probably not a bad idea to even take a marker and mark it you know, as the front. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and locate our reset and ground. There is ground and there is reset. So what we want to do is we're going to plug this in about right here is fine. I'm going to go ahead and solder those in place. Okay. 
Now all we need to do is tie ground and uh, reset through those pins. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I wanted to just check before I told you. So side to side they're already connected, but up to down they're not, which is pretty much what we wanted. So now I'm going to put this back in and I'm going to identify uh, ground and reset as the second and third pin. So it'll be the second and third pin. Here is one of them right here. So we can just create a little um, solder bridge there. Yep. So that connects. And then as I said, the side to side, so there is the bottom one. And we need to create another solder bridge from that one here to that one. And if we can't get this to work, then we'll put a wire there. But this should work. Maybe we'll put one there and then there. There we go. Okay. There's probably some on top. That looks good. So there we go. We now have a reset button created. And you can take, you know, Pro Micros in and out as long as they have the pins on them. Otherwise, use the solderless breadboard option I showed you. So with that, let's go back to the computer and I'll just quickly show you how you want to do your timing. So we have made our device for doing our resets. Sorry, I'm trying to get it in the picture here. And what we want to do is I'm actually going to cause it to fail again. So as we learned earlier, the way that you do that is, is we're going to go and choose the wrong processor. I'm going to upload the blink and it will succeed the first time and now it's done but now if we try to send anything else to it even with a correction let me go back up and fix that it will uh, time out it won't work here let me choose the correct processor it's this one and let's try to upload it again and you can even look at the board and there's no lights going on normally when it's uploading code you know you get some kind of indicator and this is gonna fail so the way that you now use your reset button is all about timing um, it's, when it's done compiling it says upload you want to very quickly press the button twice to cause that reset to happen which will cause the bootloader to start up so I'm going to start it again. I'm looking, uploading. I just pressed it twice, and now it's uploading. That's all there is to it. SparkFun has a really good page. Let me pull it up over here to share with you. And I will share this link down below. They discuss the resetting of the bootloader, what the timing is. I told you it was eight seconds. Um, they talk about setting up the reset in the ground. They're actually showing, uh, oh, that's a Pro Micro, so that's good. Um, yeah, so it goes through the whole process as well. So I will share that. I will put that in the link, and hopefully this video has helped you. Um, remember, learn something new every day. Take care.